Hello everybody and welcome to Organic Gardening Together. My name is Paulie and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be um, unboxing and setting up um, the Vermi Hut Plus 5 tray worm compost bin. So it's pretty much a worm farm and a composter in one. So this is the unboxing. That's coconut core. It's going to be used as the worm bedding. That cup is to um, collect uh, what's called worm tea, basically the liquids that come out of it, out of the decomposition, also known as worm tea. Um, more coconut core. These are like the working trays, basically the trays that we're going to be putting the food in and stuff. There's three of them. Well, there's actually five of them, but. I think these three that are coming out now are stuck together, yeah. One, two, three, four. That's four of them. And that's the uh, the base with a working tray in it, and I didn't even notice that. <laughs> so, okay, so we unboxed it, and trying to separate these three working trays with one hand was not easy as they come pretty stuck together as uh, you know for shipping that's the bottom tray along with another working tray and the spout hole basically what we're gonna be putting the uh, the spout in so this isn't really um I mean I'm gonna explain how the composting works and everything and you're gonna see how to put it together um, I'm not going to fast forward much because there are people that are going step by step on how to put this stuff together. So, yeah. So right now I'm just separating the working bins. And I'll explain how it exactly works. Composting is a great idea to add fertilizer to your garden. And worm castings, basically worm poop, at the garden shop is not um cheap not cheap at all sorry about that my uh my phone was going off um yeah so worm castings isn't cheap so it's um it's a good uh fertilizer to add to your soil to add to your garden and why not you know um use your own food scraps to uh to do so you know save money that way right all right so separating the bins here wasn't the easiest thing in the world. I kind of just uh, pushed on each corner with one hand because I had to hold the camera. Even though I have a tripod, but it's just easier since I'm on the ground. All right. So separate, separate, separate. So what's cool about this is we're going to set up the base and then there's that whiteboard that white tray that you'll see in a second and um, that's pretty much to protect the worms from going under I guess and uh, to collect the worm tea yeah. so yeah the focus kind of got messed up so I had to uh, re-record so I'm just separating the bins these things are the ant trappers basically they go on the legs of your um, of your compost bin that you fill them up with water and it's supposed to stop the ants from coming in just a nice little note for customer service actually I I put the note along with the bedding I'll show you because paper cardboard that your Amazon packages come in or any packages for that matter are great great um, worm composting food worm food so that's the lid. It's got a, um, a coconut core lining and that's to protect from odor control. Always want some good odor control, right? Instructions. Yeah.
So here I started making sure that I had all the pieces. Again, this isn't a video about composting. It's just really an unboxing and setup video. I know, a, like, um, a lot of things I buy from my garden, I look up um, setup videos and it's just never there. They kind of fast forward too much, in my opinion. And you can't really see exactly how it's set up. So, yeah, so making sure I have everything, the spigot. There's four working trays and the main base. I guess I was a little confused here, I don't know. Yes. Yes, Paulie, that's the working trays. Alright. So basically, after you have everything separated, you're gonna put the, uh, the spigot on. I'll show you that. Maybe I can fast forward this. Okay, so here we are. So you're gonna put the spigot on, the uh, basically that uh, that faucet thing. So you're gonna put a washer on the front end. You're gonna take the wa There's two washers on the faucet, the spigot thing. You're gonna take both washers off, right? I didn't take it off here. Obviously, I have no idea what I'm doing when I first started it. This is completely wrong. <laughs> yeah. So you gotta take them both off. And then um, you're gonna put the washer in the front, put the spigot on, then put the washer in the back, and then put the nut that uh, locks it in place on. It's pretty simple, but it took me a second to figure out. Now, you, you don't have to screw it in. I don't know why I'm turning it here. Yeah, it just goes in and then you tighten it on the nut in the back. Got to figure that out real quick, I guess. <clears throat> okay, so I didn't realize, you know, that working tray was still stuck in the base. I'm like, where do I, you know, tighten the nut at? So make sure you take out the last, uh, the last working tray. Fast forward for you a little bit here. And here you see, I finally put on the washer and put the nut on. Took me way too long how to figure out how to put this spigot on. Faucet, whatever you want to call it. Really a spigot. Not really a faucet. Really hard to tighten to do this without a, uh, with, a with one hand, you know? Gotta record for you guys, right? All right, that's basically the hardest part. <laughs> Putting this bigot on and removing those working trays. Everything else is simple once you understand how it works and uh, we'll talk about that ahead. All right, make sure it's really tight so you don't get any um, leakage. And so that's gonna be collecting the worm tea. <clears throat> So then, from there, you put the, uh, what they call the M board. It's the worm saver, I guess, to stop them falling in from where the worm tea collects. And, um, yeah. So 
so the the liquids will collect underneath that would you use the spigot to collect you know the liquid fertilizer or worm tea then we're going to put a working tray on top of that M board or that whiteboard, whatever you want to call it. Oh, my nasty feet. <laughs> All right. So on top of that, we're going to take a working tray and we're going to start setting up our worm bedding, basically the worm home. This is where the worms can escape and, you know, live their best lives. <laughs> so, yeah. So, what you want to do here is start breaking down the Amazon box that it came in. And making sure there's no plastic on it. Ripping off as many pieces as you can and start soaking that in water. And I'll explain why. You, you're going to... So cardboard is an ideal worm food literally ideal okay so instead of a voiceover I'm talking this time guys I read the whole thing and I kind of got it figured out so we put this thing on top of this thing you saw me do that right so we got that we got the lid with the coconut core lining and that reduces the smell this is the vent where the air comes through and this is the working tray like where the uh, the worms do their dang thing you know what I mean all right so really all we need right now because I don't have the worms until tomorrow is this this and this well even if I had the worms this would be all I need for right now okay so we take the coconut this stuff I guess this is coconut core too. Let me get a better focus. Looks like coconut core. All right. So we soak it in some water. I fill. I have a seven-gallon bucket. I filled it up about ten seconds on soaker. It's supposed to be a gallon. Yes. All right. Here we go. All right, so we put it in there until it breaks up easily. Oh, crap. What we're doing is making the bed for the worms. me it looks already broken up not like a solid brick or anything hmm I wonder if it was broken up already oh, whatever I mean it's obviously broken up already I don't know even so it's not bad to soak it in water and squeeze the water out I mean it can't be a bad thing right Okay, so, take the tray, and we're going to grab some soil. I want to grab some good soil here. I want to grab crappy soil. I mean, it is composting. Whatever. Well, that's mostly mulch. Hmm. Turns out they said that you just... Oh, well, you can't hear me, so hold on.
so this is the worm bedding. And then when the worms come tomorrow, I put them in. And I got a composter. Worm under your fucking with your ass well, what the fuck? Let me finish this. I'm recording. I'm in the literally middle. Oh, we're talking. I'm not. I do voiceovers. I don't do. Oh. And that's that. Um, that's how I set up my compost bin. You want to put it in a, uh, a shaded spot, kind of in the corner somewhere. And uh, yeah, that's it. This is where I'm going to put mine. I have to take that dog thing out, and I'll just put it right there. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch, and have a great day, and enjoy your garden.